SC definitely taking a similar trip down Smash Attack Road here. Yeah, it's a bit different though, but. Wait, it's in versus Will in Losers? Yes. Oh, wow. Nick C versus Will in Losers is coming up. Yo, Will. Will, <laughs> No, once he fell behind, like, at a certain point, like 45%, I'm like, yeah, he's not gonna check. Yeah, he missed with the up smash. It's really hard to punish ledge get up in this game. And yes. A lot of the times you want to read it and smash people, but it, it, I think there's like two frames to, to time it. So like a lot of the times you'll get you'll end up getting punished for your own read. And I know really IQHQ J Ribs has been very frustrated because he has a terrible habit of obviously standing at the ledge, or at least had one and got punished pretty consistently from that. So walking into Apex, he was definitely taught a lesson about what happens when you stand up too much. Yeah, like it could be punished, but at the same time, it's my point. What I was making is extremely hard to punish. Mm -hmm. it's only well, two as frames. we saw there, nonetheless. Oh, you saw Orion <laughs> read the get up mm -hmm. and the up smash, and it but still it didn't connect. Yeah, because right. he, he didn't time it within the two frame window. It's extremely hard. You have to both read it and time it, and it's it's very demanding. Yeah, clearly. Yeah. Two frames is beyond demanding. That's that's the definition of tight. Especially when you don't have a two-frame move to mm -hmm. time that. <laughs> All right, so top eight, losers, other side. This is Snakey versus Mike Kirby, two very good players. Uh, Mike Kirby placing really well as of late, but um, Snakey, I think, taking his first, like, extremely good player win, uh, beating... Juice Doom solidly 2-1. Uh, Most certainly, and I know that the last Smash Attack he had a harder time in bracket, but this time around he has been doing a very good job as thus far only dropping a game to J-Tails, which is a rather respectable player in the first place nonetheless. Sure. So we'll see if he can close out the set here against Mike Kirby too and potentially take another name. Yeah, I would be surprised, but at the same time, they're both very good players. It can go either way. This region is really good. Like, if you look at this top eight bracket, I don't think anybody wants to be in this. Like, no, <laughs> definitely uh, not. It'll be a hard time for most, like, 99% of players. And that's the craziest part. When we get these high attendee count tournaments, you know, the, the 40 plus, the 50 plus, you tend to see top eight be an absolute shark tank yeah. because of how many people make their way out. Doubles, you see doubles, it was so stacked. Yes. Uh, Minty and Max, who are both in top eight, well, Max is almost in top eight. They, they got uh, last place, actually, because of how stacked it was. Saying a lot about that New York, New Jersey region. Yeah, oh my god, no lightning or anything. Jab great takes it out. spacing there by Snakey to abuse Luma's increased knockback to net him that kill. Yeah. Yeah, Jab is one of her strongest moves for no reason. And Ooh. now this should be interesting here because Mike Kirby seeming to have a hard time figuring out how to deal with Snakey's Luma and Snakey with that slow pace in the matchup that usually we see Mike Kirby take. He was just sandwiching him with Luma. Ooh, yes. Luma down air. Oh wow, Ooh. and that's just about as good as it gets. You see Snakey just having Luma follow out. Oh! Man, oh man, and the traps the control are right now. Oh. I don't even want to play this man right now. <laughs> And we see as a right here, the low percent, but Rosalina had some rage and managed to net that down air. Mike Kirby just responding very well, but still down the full stock and the percent are starting like to creep Kirby up. What's Kirby supposed to do right now? I don't know. <laughs> I, I feel like it's really hard for him just because Snake E is just playing very overwhelming and he's just playing it completely properly. He's walling, like what Rosalina does is wall and Kirby is kind of known in the past Smash games for getting walled pretty easily. And especially ball. with the way Snakey's opting to wall. He keeps incrementing Luma's position forward. Beautiful and back that's, air. That's what Mike Kirby needs to do is find exactly his strong points, which is when he's in between the stage and Rosalina recovering. I hope Mike Kirby wins because it's also his birthday. And there we go. <laughs> Shout out to the birthday boys. Yes, birthday boys. Birthday boys! <laughs> But right now, it is a hope and a prayer because Snakey is putting on a clinic and giving him no chance of those birthday wishes. Nope, not at all. He's not letting up. Now, that was kind of, that was pretty ballsy by Snakey to dig deep out there because if Mike Kirby had landed one of those down airs, that could have been lights out. I feel like once you kill Luma, you're supposed to rush Rosalina down, but does Kirby rush people down ever? And the worst part about it is, too, is just that when at disadvantage, like we're seeing from Kirby right now, you know, being at 112, you have to be so careful because the second Luma comes back, you're at disadvantage yet again yep. and in kill range. 
feel like you need to be able to rush Rosaline, pure Rosalina down if you want to win this matchup. And I don't now, think Kirby is capable of that. And not to mention, we've seen a lot of Mike Kirby. We've seen him put on a lot of strong matches. He had some very strong matches against Kieran today. But I think that's the first time we've really seen him get and shut down. Yes, yes. But that's the first time we've seen him get very, really shut down in a matchup like that. He seemed unsure. He was not really getting what was his. And he wasn't playing like we're used to seeing him play. So it really seems like Snake E is bringing him the heat right now. Kirby lacks, like, a solid approach. So, like, when, when you do get rid of Luma, which is still pretty hard, mm -hmm. like, what do you do from there? Do you run in and grab? Like, you don't really have follow-ups. You have these hits that you can take. I guess the number one important thing in this matchup is to not lose the first stock because I really don't see Kirby ever coming back after losing a no, stock in this matchup. No, definitely not. Between Luma and Rosalina and their wall play style, I don't see... Now, I don't know what Mike Kirby is going to try and look for here because, I mean, the only thing I can think of is here Town and City with the platforms because, as we saw, normally Mike Kirby might opt for a strong um, roll-in, up-tilt game to counter jump-ins and whatnot, but Rosalina has been staying very, very grounded and doing a great job of it. It's pretty is, distanced. Too. Yeah. So grounded, distanced, there's no chance in there for you to get your anti-air game like you'd Especially like to Especially with no disjointed projectile, I mean disjointed hitboxes or projectiles. And the worst part is with the way that Luma is closing in space on Mike Kirby, it's making it even harder for him to play the anti-air game because even if he gets past Luma, you still have Snakey throwing out those hitboxes expecting him to roll in. Yeah. Approaching just seems like a nightmare in this matchup. For and Mike even Kirby. then, when he got his up tilts because of that's Luma, that's the only combo Kirby has on Rosalina. And, that's what I'm, and even then, Luma was able to come through and just nah, yeah. stop it. Yep, comboing Rosalina is near impossible in this game. I, I know that from using Sheik against the Buzz. Like at some points, after two or three hits, you just have to let her go back to neutral. Oh goodness, and he got it again. I feel but like man. this matchup is garbage after seeing that. I, I really do agree, and I have to say, you know, as we talk about some anti-meta characters like Luigi and whatnot who are very good at breaking combos and getting theirs, I feel like in this matchup you have a very anti-meta character that is Rosalina because there's just, like you said, not much that Kirby's going to be able to feed into and gain advantage yep. from. There's no approach. There's no rushdown when, when Luma's gone. There's no reliable way to kill Luma. The only thing you have is strength in this matchup because she's so light. And unfortunately, the problem with that is, ooh, Snakey oh, Snakey did not God, get the, the jump. Platform. Yes, did not get the jump, and it carried him out. The platform so, caught right and there. The platform ate him like I, frigate. And the worst part about it is now he's lost a lot of momentum against Mike Kirby as Mike Kirby is actually back into this match. And while we see Snakey beginning to pour it on, this still evening it up this close could change the entire momentum of the game. Yeah, that was pretty unexpected. And I talk about all the time how there are certain things that can really throw a player's mentality off. And while Snakey handled that pretty well, though, it's very easy for things like that to really screw up your mindset. Rosalina gets in your head, too. It's yes. annoying. And as we see here, Mike Kirby mounting the comeback oh, as Luma is going to take a seat. All right, let's see what he's able to do, though. Is he going to give him... Oh, there we go. Got that back air. Looking to pressure. Attempting to rush him down, but Snakey is reading that, I think. And that poor grab range did not help at all. Snakey is definitely using the space behind him in an attempt to counter-approach him. Snakey also very well aware of his uh, of his need to camp when Luma is Ooh. gone, and his attacks on shield have been relentless against Mike Kirby. Mike Kirby's been doing this for two games here. Yeah, I feel like Jab alone shuts this matchup down. Oh, oh Snakey wow, goes in goodness. super hard for no reason. I feel like he needs to stay in the middle of the stage. He did go for no reason, but he still was oh. able to follow up, and that was adorable. Yeah, that, that was, was just cute. outright cute. It was three damage, but it was very cute. <laughs> Oh, goodness, and you're going to have to Back be careful kick. there. Oh, oh, that's how Beavers my Kirby oh, ended. Oh, that's the same. I was just going to say, that's oh, the same way it ended. Damn. Got to be frustrating right, for my Kirby. I'm not sure who's playing next. If, if I am, I have to use the Beth. Well, let's just check and see what we get on bracket here. We're going to see who's calling in the next one. If you have to step away, please, sir. Yeah, I should either Vinny's way. Vinny's stepping Fun away from the mic. Goodbye, guys. Hope you enjoyed the time with Vinny. I think I have Spooky yeah, man, making his awesome. way back in. Yeah, what's up? How you doing, Quintel? I've been holding it down, man. It's been a fun trip thus far in Smash Attack 3. They've been putting on a freaking uh, a, a show for us right I'm, now. I'm really impressed, man. This is definitely a major caliber level of play, uh, mostly from people here in the New York area. 
But, you know, I'm seeing guys that I'm used to seeing in top 8 of a big tournament, top 16 of a big tournament, and they're all here in our local bracket. So it's, it's pretty amazing for me to see. And as we've heard from all the big name players, Vinny, Orion, Will, a couple of them sitting down have just been saying it's a shark tank right yeah, now. Dude, it's so tough. stacked. It's tough. These guys are all amazing players. And, uh, you know, they've got something to prove when they're here. It's not about the $600 in pot money, which, nope. don't get me wrong, is very nice. It's about um, these guys all want to get better before all the big major events that are coming up soon. And including I can, evolution. Yes, and I was going to say, that's that's what it truly is, guys. If you're at home and you question it, don't sleep on Evo this year. The Smash community is going to be out in force, and these how guys... Could, how could they sleep on it? When, what, look at what happened last year. Oh, uh, I how know. How many people showed up for Melee last year? I forget, over 800 or something crazy, and then the stream viewership was over 140,000 people. Uh, only beaten by Ultimar versus Capcom 3, I believe. Exactly, so. and that's what I'm saying is, you know, no hate against the Smash community, but we do like to wait that last minute, and Evo is not a last minute kind of thing, so no, guys, no, no. please. People are practicing now, I yeah. can tell. And that's what you I want to see. I just want to hear no Johns, no excuses. Get yourself ready, and let's have Evo be exactly what we want it to be. Oh, this is what the uh, the winner side of the bracket looks like, by the way, for anybody wondering. Um, we're in winner's finals for that one already, and it's supposed to be uh, Vinny up against J-Tails. Uh, J-Tails has been playing Diddy. Uh, Vinny, last time, he also played Diddy. I'm not sure if he's yes. running Diddy today. Yeah, he definitely has been putting uh, on a strong okay. uh, a strong position from Diddy today. Uh, That's so we for got, sure. We got the Dittos. Yes, the dittos them Dittos. Ditto Dittos. And I have to say, guys, you will see me on the mic a heck of a lot more over here at Smash Attack and any of our LI events. Personally, it I might come out there and play with you. And guys I was going to say, man, if my hopes and dreams come true, hopefully you'll find me on the mic for at least some of Evo. I'm fighting to get up there, man. Evo is the main okay. stage, yeah, and that's my show, hope man. and dreams, dude. It's the big show. Well, good for you. I'm glad that you have a goal to go for. I can mm -hmm. put you in touch with the guy that sets up all the commentary and everything, but I don't make the final decisions. I no, that no, and that's do. quite right. Please put my name in the hat or give me well, any sure, kind man. of information. I'll take it because I don't assume anything, but I'll work my butt off for it. I got you, Brian. You're in there, bro. Don't yeah, worry. man. We'll talk soon. And that's what I'm here for, man. I got this, py this fire and passion for this community because these guys just make it so worthwhile. They come out here, put on a total show, manage to fill up your stream real quick, come out, give mad love. Yeah, I'm really happy. You know, I was a little bit worried when I first started doing a Smash Attack uh, or a Smash event in general yeah. that the, the community would not accept me. I would be like, well, what is Spooky doing Smash for? You know, he does, like, other games or other fighting games, whatever. But, um... See, it makes me laugh, though, because my introduction to getting on your stream in Apex 2014 came from all...